In campaign 2016, a woman running for state senate is being attacked in a new ad for not doing more to fire a man accused of domestic violence. KPX 5's reporter uh, Phil Matier digging into the close race between Jane Kim and Scott Weiner. Phil, that's right. You know, Veronica, San Francisco politics has always been a healthy mixture of policy, reality TV, and contact sports, and this one is no exception. Let's take a look. From a kickboxing candidate to endorsements from drag queen. We need not just somebody that knows our issues or has heard about our issues or sympathetic with our issues, but lives our issues every day. One would be hard pressed to find another place in America running political ads quite like San Francisco's hotly contested 11th District State Senate race between fellow liberals James Kim and Scott Weiner. This time it's a fight for the soul of a city. We've won marriage equality, and that's amazing. But we have a lot of challenges left. Hey, one candidate does come from the establishment, and uh, Jane Kim comes from a more uh, disruptive uh, constituency. Kim, for example, has not totally backed the mayor's move to sweep tents from the city sidewalks, and she's questioned city spending on the Super Bowl. Weiner is more of a team player, and if he loses, there will be no gay or lesbian in the state legislature from San Francisco. I've been able to deliver. As often is the case, when candidates agree on most issues, the only thing left to attack is each other. Like this ad slamming Kim for having voted to keep former Sheriff Ross Mercurimi on the job after he pled guilty to a misdemeanor charge of domestic violence against his wife. It was a total betrayal. I firmly believe that voters give you the job, only the voters can take it away. But she's also kicking back with her own charges. They're supporting corporate candidate Scott Weiner, who opposes new protection for renters. Oh, I saw that uh, that commercial, and it, it, it's 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 laughable. And as the punches fly, we were at least able to clearly establish one fact. I do have a black belt in Taekwondo. And you can expect more hits to be coming. The latest polls show that the race is neck and neck, and money is coming in not only from San Francisco interests, but from state interests as well, because there's a lot at stake here. Whoever gets elected, chances are they could serve the next 12 years.